What's up, YouTube? So, um, today is August 20th. It's the day of my first exam for foundations. I'm nervous but excited because my first nursing exam. I'm excited because I feel like I'm gonna do good on it. Hopefully, I do good on it. We find out later on today what my uh, what the score will be. We should find out before we get out. It's 150 questions. I like 150 questions. Like, what could you ask me that for 150 questions? But yeah, so headed to school right now. I left the house a little late and got stuck in traffic. But good thing I know kind of how to get around the traffic. Ah, damn it. The lane ended. Go. But yeah, so hopefully I get to school on time at 746 in the morning. And I need to stop leaving the house so late. But last night I had to switch my backpacks because I had to wash my actual backpack because I spilled my uh, my replacement smoothie on it. I spilled it all over my trunk, actually. Well, my jacket, my work jacket. If you uh, watch my other uh, my other video, I think it's day three, day two or three. You'll <laughs> you'll hear me talk about it. But I had to wash that, and so I had to take my work backpack, which is a Jansport, which so two pockets, and I have a lot of stuff and a lot of cords that I have to take with me because I'm I'm a paperless student, and so it's annoying. But I finally got it switched over, got it cleaned out, it's ready to go. Hopefully I got everything because yesterday I didn't have my skills folder and I needed my skills folder because it was skills day. And then we had checkoffs, but I passed all my checkoffs. We did um, the post rates. We found all the posts on the body except for the femoral. We're not going to, if you know where the femoral artery is, yeah. We wasn't going to touch each other there. So we just told them where it was. We uh, located the apical pulse. And I actually found it this time. I have to get used to palpating. So pretty much touching where I need to be at so I can find my marker instead of just trying to place it because I don't want to touch the person. But yeah, we did that. What else we do? We did um, transferring the patient from the bed to the chair to the commode, from the chair to the bed. We also did... Um, we also got all our other ones. We put everything in our files. So that way when we go to clinicals next Thursday. Who the Thursday next Thursday. That's crazy. On the 29th, we'll be going to um, our clinical orientation. We find out where we're going on Thursday this week. Thursday, Friday this week. I'm so nervous. Because I'm gonna actually have to do what I'm learning in class instead of just keep practicing on my classmates like I did in medical assistant school. But I am happy I went to medical assistant school because medical assistant school actually prepared me for this and helped me get a uh, sense of the medical terminology because the medical terminology is what actually stumped me in medical assistant school. But after a while, I figured out that it, the words are just prefixes and suffixes put together. <laughs> And so, yeah, I'm going to talk to y'all later after my test, let you guys know how I feel about it, and then I'm going to do a clip later on to see if we got our scores. Hopefully, we get our scores. He said we're getting our scores today, but yeah, I'm going to catch y'all. Peace. Hey guys, so it is 2 of 7, 
I had to leave school early because I got to go pick up my son after school because he still has yet to get put on a bus. And so since he has, has, hasn't got put on a bus, he can't get to his after school program without somebody picking him up. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to take him to his after school program because I got to study for my AP pro, uh, test tomorrow and finish my study guide. And so he might just stay home with me today because I don't feel like having to get all into the study mode and then have to stop and go get him. So yeah, he actually is going to stay home with me today. Hopefully they can get him on a bus though because I can't keep missing class right now because today was lecture is he was fine with it and I wasn't missing that much school because we was getting out at four so two hours he didn't really trip off of it and luckily he didn't take points away I'm happy about that so I still got my nine hours but yeah so I took my test I feel good about it I got done in about 45 minutes he gave us two hours to take the test I got done in about 45 minutes hopefully he posts it tonight so that way I can see my score. I'm like, I know I did good. I know I did good because a lot of the questions were questions I've gone over. I made sure that I knew that information. And so, I need to stop saying it so, like, man. Like, I almost did it again. But hopefully I, uh, I, uh, I scored at least a B on it. It was 100 questions, not 150. It was 100 questions. And one of the questions was hilarious. So question number 50, like when you're te taking the test, you're, you're in the test mode. So you're like reading the questions, looking for the answers. And you're like, okay. Question 50 literally said, okay, now take two, one breath in, one breath out, stand up, stress, relax, you're halfway there. And I read it twice as if it was a question. And it said, now proceed to uh, question 51. And so I'm thinking question 51 had the answers. I'm like, wait, no, this has nothing to do with it. And so I had to read it again. And literally, he was just like, stand up, stretch, breathe, relax. You're halfway there, so you're okay. And I like that because I actually needed to stand up and stretch. Because I forgot to stretch before I sat down. When you're sitting down for a really long time, make sure you stretch. Your body gets tight and everything, so you gotta stretch your muscles out and keep them flexible. But yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all later. Hopefully he posts tonight, but I will definitely be posting the um, posting it. All right, peace. Hey everybody. So. Today's the 21st. I got my A&P test today. I don't, I, I, I'll I probably get a C on it. I'm, I'm going for a C. C's get degrees. But my uh, foundations, got my score last night. I got a B. I got a B. I got an 83%. I'm excited. I got 100% on my study guides. I missed a few questions and everything like that so I'm not really upset but I'm so excited I like I gotta be and so starting off the semester good um about to take this A&P test um since I had to teach myself a lot of it didn't really stick <laughs> especially when it came to the cells and the cell divisions and the anaphase and telophase and whatever yeah I did I finished my study guys yay me what but as far as studying for the test, I did a little bit. I studied chapter one and two, chapter three. It did not stick whatsoever, whatsoever. I, 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 yeah, hopefully there's not that many chapter three to, uh, questions on there. But yeah, so I'm at school right now. I'm actually at school pretty early, it's 7.48. Normally I'm still in traffic, figured out how to go around that took almost two weeks oh, I got some going to my eye but yeah so 
I'm gonna put a clip of my squares. But yeah, I'm gonna check y'all later. Let y'all know how I did on my AMP test. I'll probably get the score tonight too as well, depending on how it is. Cause they didn't tell us if it was on the Scantron or if we're writing on the tabs. But we'll figure out today. Hopefully they're more organized than they were last week. Last week was a disaster. Hopefully, hoping for the better. All right, y'all. Peace.